Hey, what's up? Man, you know those GP races we raced in the fall? Yeah, I remember having to put my Ultra B through a torture test to make it fast enough to keep up with dirt bikes. You aren't gonna believe this. Come, come check this out. So the guys over at Gypsy Tales and Verb Moto, they're putting on a 500 endurance version of that race. All right, so let me get this straight. 500 minutes, but before we only did 50 minutes and I made it four and a half laps. You made it through the race, which was five laps, right? Yep. But that was all I had. So if we're gonna do 10 times that, what, we're doing four bikes, one bike on the track at all times, three other bikes charging? Yeah, exactly. So team race, we spread it out, probably doing two or three laps at a time, leave the track, throw the bike on a charger so it's ready basically an hour later to get back on the track again. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right, so we gotta figure out how we're gonna make this happen because I only made it four laps because I had the wrong tune on my Ultra B and probably the wrong battery. Now I can safely make it through four laps this next race, but on your Varg, you actually almost made it through the full five laps. Yeah, and these laps are gonna actually be bigger on this particular race. We're going from a four mile lap uh, at our previous race Gypsy's saying this is gonna be a six mile lap. <laughs> so we're probably talking three two laps. to three laps max. Okay. So it's March 9th, it's in Mesquite, Nevada, which is where we raced in November. And the awesome thing about Mesquite, Nevada, it's literally halfway between San Diego, LA, and Salt Lake City. So we should get some California crews coming in here to race. It's true, well, it was a crowded race last time. There were a lot of heats in each group, right? Full gates. The thing that I struggled with was obviously the conditions, which we'll need to think about, but we were also the only electric bikes in that series at the time trying to race against all gas dirt bikes. So it's gonna be really cool trying to do electrics in this race, but we might be the only ones. Might be. There's some rumors that Gypsy Tail's team might be all Stark Varg, so I'm curious to see if they really do it. All right, well, maybe they can learn from us since we've already raced our Varg. That's right. Nice. Let's show you guys what to expect in the Gypsy 500 race at Mesquite. All right, here we go, lining up for a gate drop. GP races start just like a motocross race. Off we go. I know you're expecting a whole shot from the Varg, but I've only got the power to set to 50 horsepower for range purposes, and I held back a tiny bit because I was so busy helping my daughter prepare for her race, I missed practice. Therefore, I needed to follow some fast guys off the jumps to learn what speed we hit them at. Wait until you see this amazing ski jump where we jump off the track into the off-road section. Oh, look at that gap. Be sure, if you're going to hit this on the right side, be sure to hit that fast. You don't want to come up short on that one. Let's hope they keep this for the Gypsy 500. It's my favorite feature. You might notice I'm a little hesitant on this first lap. This is literally the first time I've ever ridden my Varg off-road up until this point. I only had four hours of seat time on the Varg and all on the next tracks. I'm trying to get used to how this bike feels off-road and I'm also trying to figure out how fast I can ride and have enough battery to finish the race. That last section after the pavement was a very harsh, rocky, and bumpy section. It's going to test your suspension. If you have a 19-inch tire like me, you don't want to pitch flat. Now we're getting into the deep, deep sand, and it's much deeper than it looks on video. And you can tell by all the riders going down in front of me that this is a challenging environment. I'll give you a hint with your bike setup. You better put a scoop tire on your bike or you'll regret it in the deep sand. If you're riding a Varg, here's another piece of advice for deep sand. Turn your engine braking way down. I had mine set to 50% and the first deep sand turn I came into when I let off the throttle it felt like someone threw a boat anchor out. It was a huge mistake and something that I struggled with the entire race. And now we're back on the track. Obviously we edited out a lot of the four mile course to keep this short, but you saw the highlights to get a feel for it. Remember the Gypsy 500 is a six mile course, so they are adding an additional two miles to the course that we raced in November. Up and over the finish line we go, but there's another quarter lap to get back to where the race started. I'm expecting the bike pit area to be somewhere between the finish line and where we started. And there we go. That's what a lap looks like. Now just keep on doing that for another eight hours. How's your battery? 
One percent, baby. Oh, look, look. Hey, look at mine. I got plenty, man. I got a whole oh one percent. How far did you make it? Uh, I barely made it back to here. <laughs> I was I was regenning on every hill from the yeah. backside, and I barely I thought I was going to be walking back. But you, I saw you come over the finish line. Yeah. Barely. Oh my God! At one percent. Okay, so you just got a taste of the Mesquite MX track. Uh, tons of fun, lots of elevation change, deep, deep sand, which absolutely crushed our batteries. So you guys know from our other videos, we have two Stark Vargs. We also have two racing Ultra Bs now, completely built. I happen to be faster on my Ultra B than I am on my own Varg. But it's going to be really interesting to have four different electric bikes down there charging constantly and trying to make sure we can get through the entire race. Yeah, we have a lot to figure out. So four person team, one of them is going to be a female. Um, we aren't set on what bikes we're going to ride yet. No. So it might be a few Starks. It might be an Ultra B or two. Um, there's other bikes out there that we have access to. So let us know in the comments, what bikes would you like to see us race in this type of event? Okay, so as someone that just found out about this race, my wheels are turning. Follow along our journey as we're gonna have to figure out what bikes we're gonna take, um, how we're gonna set them up for an endurance race on a track that we've already been to before, and probably most importantly, charging times, because we have to find a way to get through four bikes through an eight hour uh, race so someone's always out it's gonna be really fun to figure this out and just go and do it yeah we got a lot to figure out and uh, I'm excited I'm, I think I'm gonna go jump on the peloton now get ready <laughs> for this thing <laughs> 